Hey, what's up? This is Jimblade8304 coming at you with some Balloon Tower Defense 5. Today, we are playing episode 11 to be named later. No, that's not the name of the episode. We're naming it later. Trust me, if I thought these things out, you guys would be getting videos for like <laughs> weeks at a time. So you can see, um, Round, this is round 40. Um, you will play till round 70 today for time's sake, so we will get started. See, I did put a monkey apprentice in. So the fact that um, I actually started using him last episode, but he is pretty cool. Um, I still do like him. He's very unique. See, he just had that giant tornado. See, he's getting some balloons. Um, I'm not sure how they measure how these guys count balloons. I think it's kind of funny in a way, but I don't know how they measure it, so, um, I don't get it, but it's still pretty cool how they do figure out what... There's only one thing about this game that I do not like. Um, you can't once you place one in place, you cannot move it. Um, that is really unfortunate, but because you know balloons are going to get past there. You know? I actually think I want to delete him and relocate him. Um, move him over here. That way he has a more widespread variety. So there we go. Um, he's about the same place I was last time. So. Hmm. You can see he does have this entire area. He goes from here. You can see where the uh, blue is. Hmm. Or, um, I'm sorry, not the blue, like the gray. You can see what's there. Um, that's where he can produce light. Do I have any super monkeys yet? No, unfortunately not yet, but I'm going to get one of them very, very soon. Like, as in now. But I cannot get any upgrades for them yet because they're so expensive. He is probably the most expensive monkey, if not he is the most expensive monkey. So I guess let's get that. Um, see, we have a couple mode class balloons coming in. And now, after this level, I did just complete easy, so, um, woohoo for that. Um, so I did complete the rewards for easy on this track, so I did get them. Um, Ring of Fire. Free play mode, um, get XP more slowly, but you can earn a token and get on leaderboards, but I'm not going to get on that because I'm not connected with Facebook. Um, but I do have Facebook. I will be creating a Facebook page for my channel soon, so, um, if you do have Facebook and you're out there, um, don't forget to come like my page, um, and subscribe to my channel, and comment, um, gameplay ideas, because some of the stuff is just getting a little bit old after a while, um, I am currently working on, um, this is a 15 episode season, um, and then I will move on, after that I will take like, like, a month break and work on, um, Ninjago Tournament, so this is episode 11 as I mentioned before, so. See, 
See, some of these are very easy to destroy. Um, it's unfortunate for them, I guess. But it's cool for me because uh, I still end up winning about every time. I think it's cool how the, how the blimps have to go over these instead of underneath the tunnel. And it's kind of cool how they can't get them in the tunnel. So, basically, they either... So basically, that's the only place they have a safe room. And you can see they don't come out of the tunnel if they do go in. Somewhere over the rainbows. I have no clue what that means. I'm going to put a different monkey in. Um, one I have never really used before. Um, see, I can't put that one in there, but I would, I would use that. Um, I think I will add another, um, boomerang monkey there. Um, so, see a bunch of Reagan balloons coming in as they're called. Um, I don't know why they're called that, but they just are. See, there's two of the mobe class balloons. And lead, so um, I guess that means I better put some road spikes um, each corner. Every corner has road spikes, um, so you can't miss the corners. I don't know who's popping these camo and lead balloons, probably the um. Shooter has a level up, so I will play. Oh, that's just a YouTube video for Tara Fishy's channel. Um, good channel, I recommend it. Um, he basically does Ninjago stuff just like I do, but um, you know. You can see what that does. Uh, that's very cool. You can see it's just shooting a bunch of spikes out everywhere. Like, no big deal. You can see it's just like rapid fire spikes. Each of these towers is unique in their own way, but um, that's what I like about this. No two towers are the same. That makes this game very awesome. Um, I did mention in, I, I don't know which episode it was, but I was going to do a rundown of the color scheme of these balloons. So, um, I will get, like, a piece of paper, basically just write it down and go over it with you guys as the game is going on. Um, that will be episode 12. We only have seven more le levels left in this video. Um, a bunch of mode class balloons coming through. Um, last level for medium. So if I would have played medium, I still probably would have been pretty good. But um, I didn't take that chance. Because remember what would happen in my second video um, of this. Yeah, I'm not going to go there again anytime soon anyway. So... Hmm. I still think I'm pretty good going with this, how I have it. Um, I'm going to buy one more monkey and place it in. The balloon shipper. I don't know what that does. But I, but I did pay $6.40 for it, and if I sell it, I will only get $512 back. Um, I'm not sure what percent that is, if you're a math teacher at all. But, um... So yeah, we only have five levels left.
because if, if I get make it past round 100, um, then I will get a token. I think it's unique how they have the ceramic balloons in here because they're pretty cool. Balloon Chipper has a level up. I, I still don't know what he does. I just don't get it. I just don't know what he does. I guess because no balloons have reached that, that far yet. You can see there are uh, four mode class balloons per um, BFBs. Um, that takes us to two levels left. Oh, and uh, back to Samurai VXL video that I mentioned in my last video that was made, which was um, upcoming videos. Um, I, I'm just going to post a video on who uh, theory revealed. Um, I'll be posted very shortly. Um, if you are a fan of Ninjago, um, you might not want to watch that video if you haven't seen Hands of Time so far yet. Um, they have up to episode 68 on YouTube last time I checked. But um, if you are a fan of Ninjago and don't want to know who the Samurai X is or who I think it is anyway, do not watch that video. Um, or else you'll be like really mad at me. Do no balloons are going through ever make it out? I don't think any balloons have made it over here this, so far yet. This guy only has 24 balloon pop. So I don't think anybody's going to make it over there anytime soon. Uh, now I have the super monkey. Um, sun god. I'm just going to sell this. I don't know what it does. Um... So I don't know what it does. I just like what tire smoky. He basically fires anywhere. A lot of these monkeys are very powerful, which is the, why I will delete this one. Plus the 2012. Um, as I said before, I wish you could move these, but um, you can't. Um, Actually, I'm going to level 75, so after this round, there's one more, and then I am signing off. I promise this time. I don't, I, I don't keep track of this, so that's why. Um, this is the last level for this video. I really don't think anybody's gonna make it to this point. You can see he does have a lot of monkeys even though he's over here. Um, I believe this one has the most because, well, he's right there. He has a decent amount. Um, nice amount. He has some. Um, my first two towers actually don't. This one is my first tower that I put in, so he has the most naturally. So. I think it's ironic, you know what? Um, that was level 75. Um, so, this is um, Jim Blade 8304 signing off until next time.